the perfect storm, Usyk versus Joshua. Um, how ready for this uh, fight is Alexander? Meaning uh, that this fight in the heavyweight probably is the most important for him so far. He is already ready. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke to him just a couple hours ago. He completed every single point of the plan for the training camp. He is so happy that the training camp is over. Extremely happy because he had uh, some horrible uh, job done. Uh, it took him almost four months to prepare for this fight. Even, even though he didn't know much about his next opponent, he was working very, very hard, very persistent in the gym, uh, trying to switch his body to, to turn his body to the real heavyweight. Now he's very strong, he's very confident, he's well trained, he's mentally strong, he's doing really, really good. What's uh, his mindset uh, after previous heavyweight uh, fights? Uh, because some critics said that uh, his uh, performance wasn't as uh, they would expected. Uh, did somehow this uh, affect his uh, you know, preparation or mindset at all? Winner is never judged. Uh, he had two fights in heavyweights, both won. What can be better? Um, now his mindset is uh, victorious. He's looking for the victory on the 25th. So now he's like enjoying the time after the training camp is over. We are traveling to London tomorrow. So we will have some kind of media activities like open workouts, some... Uh, I, I anticipate there's going to be some huge amount of interviews for international and British media. Well, they're going to be the press conference afterwards and the weigh-in itself, which which is supposed to take place on O2 Arena. And the tickets, as far as I'm informed, almost sold out. This uh, fight is happening in uh, in UK. Why any of the OSIC previous fights happened in Ukraine? Well, uh, he just had three fights, one in, in the U.S., one in the U.K. Uh, he had his first fights, uh, first nine fights in Ukraine when he was starting. Now, uh, let's be fair, Ukraine is not the mecca of boxing yet. I mean, we have plenty of talents here, but uh, the economical background leaves much to be desired uh, for uh, developing fights of, of elite fighters and uh, up to now we have just two centers in the whole world which is the united states and the united kingdom uh, that's why the best the biggest events are happening uh, mostly uh, there i mean usa and the uk sometimes uh, sometimes it might take place in the middle east but it's just a matter of uh, some single events. Normally, big events happen in the United States and the uh, United Kingdom. That is probably the reason, the, the fairest answer to your question. How would you describe his transition from cruiserweights to heavyweight? Uh, I mean, more like in a business aspect. Uh, when I was in Germany maybe 10 years ago, uh, one famous matchmaker said he, he got some weight uh, himself, uh, like some extra weight. And I asked him, why, what happened to you? And he uh, answered, uh, I am heavyweight now and you can make money only in heavyweights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's probably one. It's kind of a joke, but uh, some truth is inside. Uh, heavyweight... We all know professional boxing is not just sports, but it's a huge business. And heavyweight division is uh, elite division and uh, the most attractive one. Uh, many people want to see big guys fighting. That's why it attracts many uh, people in attendance. It attracts many fans uh, in front of uh, 
devices like TV set or phone or iPad or pads or whatever. And uh, it does attract a lot of attention from the sponsors and um, companies who want to be advertised at this event. That's why events like in heavyweights, they uh, collect uh, some huge budgets. And actually, that is the reason why heavyweight division is uh, so popular and, uh, it, and why it's elite and why fighters uh, get paid well. Uh, but Usyk's transition uh, means that uh, it, it's a logical step. He completed everything in cruiserweight. Why would he stay there? He wouldn't have any incentive. He wouldn't have any motivation uh, to, to try anything else because he collected all the belts. Uh, he's beaten uh, most of the champions. And... Uh, nothing else left to be done in, in cruiserweight. So uh, Usyk had to take another challenge to move up and to gain the, uh, the triumph, to gain the throne of the king and the new division. So that Latvian uh, audience would uh, understand this, uh, this change comparing from Briedis fight financially and everything around it, uh, what, how you would describe this process and what's the biggest uh, uh, biggest change? Considerable difference. Because British fight was just for two belts, but still it's okay. Uh, that was a cruiserweight division. Cruiserweights never attract that amount of money that heavyweight or light heavyweight could ever attract. That's why they are not even comparable. Until Today, I think, according to my opinion, uh, it was the toughest fight that Usyk ever faced, the toughest opponent Usyk ever faced, Myris Bridis. And he's doing pretty good, I must admit. In your opinion, uh, what uh, Bridis team ha has done correctly and maybe something wrong? Success is not a matter of one person. It's not about boxer himself. It's not about even boxer's team who worked with him in the gym. It's a matter of all people around, including managers and promoters, agents, uh, publicity people. Everyone should be involved. Everyone should do his job properly. And then success comes as the result. If we, let's analyze it from, from this point. Uh, he changed promoter. Uh, he changed trainer. He changed team, I think. Uh, you know, when, when, you, when you achieve success, it means that you are moving in the right direction. And uh, some adjustments might be made, but uh, definitely changes should not be applicable. If you are successful, then people around you are happy and they, everyone is doing their job in a proper way. Might be, maybe that was a mistake, but we, we, we can never judge whether it was a mistake or not, because we, we, we can't know what would happen if uh, Myris wouldn't change his team. Uh, maybe he would retire, or he would stop boxing, or he would switch to MMA or whatever. But it is what it is, but he's, doing, but he's still doing good. He, he became the world champion. What can be better? Do you see himself uh, being in heavyweight division? Why not to try? If, uh, if he completed his dream or his goal in cruiserweight, why shouldn't he try himself in heavyweight? Do you think there would be money for him in heavy day, heavyweight division? Because we see how tough for Usyk is to have fights. Yeah, but uh, you know... Uh, the world has changed within the last couple of years, but it will change again in each, with each coming day. So you have to stay focused and you have to stay on, uh, on the top of the wave. Uh, you never know whether there are going to be any money on, uh, for him or not, but uh, you will never learn it unless you try it. That's why I always say that if you, if you want to 
know for sure, then try it. I think Myris has to has to try himself in heavyweights. If he's not lucky, then he loses nothing. But if he is, he only wins. That's true. And uh, about a little bit more about Usyk, uh, how do you think um, his uh, way um, of becoming a global sports icon is uh, accomplished the uh, goal so far with these uh, heavyweight fights and with Joshua right now? Do you think he's on the way to become a global star? Yes, absolutely. He is on his way to become the global star. Uh, there is a saying, if you want to become a king, you have to dethrone the king. Uh, and when you get in the fight like that with the best opponent, with the uh, biggest star in boxing, uh, uh, in heavyweights, uh, you are facing like um, probably the biggest challenge of your life. And if you are lucky, if you are successful, then uh, you take all, all the benefits of it. You be, you, every fighter, every professional boxer uh, wants to be not just rich or victorious. He wants to be rich, victorious, famous, strong, loved, everything. And uh, the way to complete it is to work hard. And, uh, but working hard doesn't mean success. Because success comes... Uh, as a result of hard work, but as a result of luck, you must be lucky as well. Uh, but again, you have to try it. You have to try the borders. You have to try the merges of your um, uh, of your abilities, the measures of your abilities, uh, how good you are. But you, you will never know how good you are if you don't try it. So facing a guy like Anthony Joshua is... Uh, is a step for Usyk uh, to become famous, to become rich, to become recognized, to become the global star. How rich will uh, Usyk will be if he wins? Thank you, Adam. Rich is a matter of, uh, you know, there's another saying, a rich man is, uh, is not the one who has a lot, uh, but the one who has enough. So as long as it is enough for him, he becomes a rich person. How he has changed as a person and maybe uh, as an athlete uh, right now, currently in his status, uh, from, from an athlete uh, who's coming from a small village to now being a, a top elite guy in heavyweight division, how would you, see, how would you describe his, uh, his change? Well, he's still the same, but he's becoming wiser. He's becoming older. He's becoming uh, more experienced and he's becoming wiser, more philosophic. Do you plan a few steps ahead or you just uh, focus on this fight and nothing else? Yeah, we plan. Uh, I told uh, some British media, they asked me a question. What would Usyk do if he defeats Anthony Joshua? So he will travel to Mars. 